<sighs> Come on, Twilight. We're gonna be late for the Nightmare Night Festival. Huh? Are you that one kooky grandpa from Ponyville Retirement Village? I'm Star Swirl the Bearded. Father of the Amniomorphic Spell. Did you even read that book I gave you about obscure unicorn history? Um, that sounds important. <laughs> Wednesday ah! night, what a fright! Give us something sweet to buy! Hi, every pony. Great costumes. Happy Nightmare Night, Granny Smith. I should have been asleep five hours ago. <laughs> Pit Squeak the Pirate, at your service. It's my very first nightmare night. Since you moved here from Trottingham? No, my very first nightmare night ever. Ah! Enough chit chat. Time is candy. Pinkie Pie, aren't you a little old for this? Too old for free candy? Ah! Never. Like it? Yeah, great costume, Twilight. Oh, you make a fantastic weirdo clown. <laughs> a clown? Look at the borders on these robes. These are hoof stitched. It's a great costume, <laughs> Grandpa. <laughs> Star Swirl the Bearded is only the most important conjurer of the pre classical era. Yay! He created more than 200 spells. He even has a shelf in the Canterlot Library of Magic named after him. Maybe I should start up a pony group to teach ponies about history. I bet every pony would love it. Don't you, Spike? Mm -hmm. mm. I love it. Hey, look, we're here already. Should we get something to eat? Twilight! Twilight! Look at our hole! Oh, can you believe it? And then we went to Cheerilee's house and we got a bunch more goodies! Didn't we, Pip? Sure did! And then we had to stop and wait for Granny Smith and then we ran out <laughs> Rainbow Dash, that wasn't very nice. Lighten up, old timer. This is the best night of the year for pranks. Look what you did to Spike. <laughs> Oh, it's all in good fun. Oh, oh, there's another group over there. Happy Nightmare Night, Applejack. Howdy, Spike. Hey, Twyla. Nice costume. Thanks. I'm a dragon. She means me, Spike. With that beard, I reckon you're some sort of country music singer. <laughs> well, y'all are here. You feel like bobbing for an apple? Thank you, every pony. And welcome to the Nightmare Night Festival. <laughs> now, all the little ponies who have been out collecting sweets should follow our friend Zakora to hear the legend of... Nightmare Moon! Her spooky voice might work better if she wasn't dressed like that. <laughs> Follow me, and very soon you'll hear the tale of Nightmare Moon. Listen close, my little dears. I'll tell you where you got your fears. Of Nightmare Night, so dark and scary. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary. Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, Miss Zakora, 
If we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two so she won't return to come eat you! your princess desires, not screams of terror! <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived! <laughs> of harmony change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is... Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! And that was a good thing, right? But of course! We could not be happier! Is that not clear? Well, you kind of sound like you're yelling at me. But this is the traditional royal Canterlot voice! It is tradition to speak using the royal we and to use this much volume when addressing our subjects. You know, that might explain why your appearance was met with mixed results. I think if you just changed your approach a bit, you might be met with a warmer reception. Change our approach? Lower the volume. Oh. We have been locked away for a thousand years. We are not sure we can. Don't worry, Princess. Fluttershy can give you some great pointers. She's delicate and demure with the sweetest little voice. Go away! No candy here! This year's no welcome on Nightmare Night! Uh, <laughs> Fluttershy, it's me, Twilight! It is you. Oh, and Nightmare Moon. Uh, Nightmare Moon? <laughs> Wait right here. Butter shy? Uh, you remember Princess Luna? Ch 
charmed. Likewise. Twilight Sparkle has spoken of the sweetness of thy voice. We ask that thou teachest us to speak as thou speakest. Okay. Shall our lessons begin? Okay. Shall we mimic thy voice? Okay. How is this? Perfect. Lesson over. A little quieter, princess. How is this? Better, right, Fluttershy? <laughs> yes. How about now? Now you're getting it. And how about now? Yes, well done. Oh, thank thee, dear Fluttershy. Our normal speaking voice shall surely win us the hearts of thy fellow villagers. Fluttershy, you gotta hide us! Nightmare Moon is here and... She stole Fluttershy's voice, so she can't scream when she gobbles her up! Yeah! Nay, children, wait! I mean, nay, children, wait! Come on, Princess, time for Plan B. No use, Twilight Sparkle. They have never liked us, and they never shall. My friend Applejack is one of the most likable ponies around. I'm sure she'll have some ideas. Oh, careful there, partner. Uh, uh, Applejack? The princess is looking for a little advice on how to fit in around here. Fit in? Really? I mean, <laughs> that's easy. All you gotta do is have the right attitude. Loosen up a bit, be positive, play a few games, have some fun. Fun? What is this fun thou speakest of? Pray tell, what purpose do these serve? Try to land the, sp the, sp the spiders on the web. You can do it, princess! Your princess enjoys this fun. In what other ways may we experience it? Fire away, princess! Ha-ha! <laughs> the fun has been doubled! <laughs> Why don't you try bobbing for apples? We got the best apples in Equestria here, princess. I ask that thou call us, me, Luna, fair Applejack. Hear me, villagers! All of you! Call me Luna! Oh, Luna! Show me to these bobbing apples! Whoa! Hey, gals! Any ponies seen Pip? We lost them the last time we had to run. Yes! Yeah! Nightmare Moon is gobbling Pip! Squeak! Every pony run! Help! My backside has been gobbled! Tis a lie! My backside is whole and ungobbled, thou ungrateful whelp! Fair villagers, please do not back away. Let us join together in fun! Not enough fun for you? What say you to this? traditional royal canterlot voice for what we are about to say. Since you choose to fear your princess rather than love her and dishonor her with this insulting celebration, we decree that Nightmare Night shall be canceled forever!
<sighs> Shoot. We had everything going our way. Luna was happy. Every pony in town was happy. Now look at them. <laughs> but I wanted to be a zombie next year. <laughs> it's not over yet. What are you going to do? I'm going to do what I do best. Lecture her! Princess? Leave me be, Twilight Sparkle. Princess, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out how we wanted. But you have to believe me when I tell you that Nightmare Night is one of the most popular celebrations we have. Yes! I can tell by all the adoring shrieks of the children as they run away. Princess. No shrieking, no squealing or screaming either, okay? There's something I want you to see, and I promise that it's safe, but you really, really, really can't shriek. Do you promise not to shriek? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, you remember Princess Luna, right? Ah, oh, the ringleader of the frightened children. Hast thou come to make peace? And she definitely doesn't want to gobble you up. Well, duh. Huh? I know that. She's Twilight. I'm almost as big as her. How's she going to gobble me up? So why do you keep running away and screaming? Sometimes it's just really fun to be scared. Fun? Pinkie Pie, you're a genius. No, I'm not. I'm a chicken. <laughs> Princess Luna, I finally figured out why you're having so much trouble being liked. Forgive me if I withhold my enthusiasm. Come with me. I'll explain everything on the way. Gosh, I never thought my very first Nightmare Night would be my very last. Come, little Pip. Now don't you fret. Nightmare Night's not over yet. We still have candy left to give, so Nightmare Moon might let us live. Yes. Come on, little ponies. What's Nightmare Night without the annual candy offering? You don't want Nightmare Moon to gobble you up, do you? Ah, oh, the rainbow wig just kills it for me. Come on, kids. Doesn't that sound like fun? Goodbye, Nightmare Night. Forever. Citizens of Ponyville, who were wise to bring this candy to me, I am pleased with your offering. So pleased that I may just eat it instead of eating you! I am not certain that did what you meant for it to do, Twilight Sparkle. Just wait. For what? For for them to scream some more? Oh, uh, Princess Luna, I know there's not going to be any more Nightmare Night, but do you suppose maybe you could come back next year and scare us again anyway? Child, art thou saying that thou likest me to scare you? It's really fun. Scary, but fun. It is? Yeah, Nightmare Night is my favorite night of the year. Well, then, we shall have to bring Nightmare Night back! Whoa! You're my favorite princess ever! She said yes, guys! Yay! See? They really do like you, princess! Can it be true? Oh, most wonderful of... I mean... Oh, my... 
most wonderful of nights. Dear Princess Celestia, when you first sent me to Ponyville, I didn't know anything about friendship. I met some pony tonight who was having the same problem, your sister, Princess Luna. She taught me that one of the best things you can do with friendship is to give it to others and help them find it themselves. And I'm happy to report that all of Ponyville has learned that even if some pony seems a little intimidating, even scary, when you offer them your friendship, you'll discover a whole new pony underneath. And even if my star swirl, the bearded costume didn't go over, this still turned out to be the best nightmare night ever. Ha, ha, ha.